Hi, this is Luciano. Welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. So in this part two, we're gonna bring our model, see if the scale and everything is kind of working, and then fit our rig. So for the first time, we're actually going to use the Rigify rig. If you have any questions, remember to post them down in the comments. So if you're one of those that don't really know any rigging in Blender, I'm gonna do a course on that. So subscribe. Um, but yeah, let's get right on to it. Eva! Okay, so easy peasy. What we're going to do now is we're gonna open up my rig file. As you probably read in Twitter, I worked out this, this rig from an old project that we started with a friend that never ended up being anything. I just adjusted the proportions so it looked a little bit better. Uh, so I'm just gonna look for this. It's supposed to be here. Uh, streaming rigify course. Ah, uh, yeah, it's called Skinny Peter. <laughs> So skinny Peter 01, we're going to make sure everything is in a collection, which it is. So we're going to rename the stuff accordingly because it's really important to keep organized. At least name your objects, name your bones, the least I can, you can do. So we have teeth and actually for some reason I moved this to the wrong place. So let's just put zero here. Yeah, perfect. It's not in the right place either. So let's just move it over there where it more or less should go. Um, I believe I just grab the interior of mouth from somewhere else um so we got i this is left eye because we usually name them based on the body not on the camera so you go i dot l i dot r and then we got this one which is legs shoes t-shirt and shorts so we got our things we're gonna call this guy skinny peter and we got our camera and light and we're gonna with m we're going to just make, put it into a new layer new layer new collection i'm sorry um new collection new collection new collection there we go this is i usually call this group cinematography over complicated name for something for just like camera and lights kind of represents all of them so i'm going to turn them off for now i'm going to deactivate this um it's weird because you can deactivate this but they'll still work in rendering and yes so I think we are good for starters. We're gonna just lower our, our timeline because we might use it, but not yet. Now we got this guy. We want to bring our meta rig. So I'm just gonna go armature, human meta rig. And as you can see, the size is very different. And so there's a few things that we probably want to figure out here. First of all, depending on the type of production and depending on how many characters you have, you'll very likely have to set a scale for everything to work. In CG, if you're doing physics and all of that stuff, uh, more complex stuff, they all require you to set the units accordingly so it works in real world scale. If you don't and you're just doing a few characters or one character, really doesn't matter that much. You can see that this rig over here, the, the meta rig, is almost two meters. I've already set my scene at some point. If you go here to your scene, and go units, you get it, I, I put metrics, and obviously nobody uses Imperial. This guy is already almost two meters, 198. In this case, we're trying to do it real world scale. I'll scale my character to an average size, which is my size, 1.73. And what's important about this is that if you have many characters, they all have to live in this world. So you should measure them all together in one scene and then say, okay, perfect. This character should be this height, this character should be this height and this and so on. Because that's gonna be also easier later down the road when you have two characters interacting together and then you create an environment that all plays well. If you don't do this before getting into animation, then you get like a scene that's massive and a character that's too tiny. And then like you put the other character and the character is three times as big or a hundred times as big. And then everything goes to shit. I'm just going to grab this dude and scale it. And I understand that there's a question there is like, wow, well, you can scale your character later. Yes, you can scale your character later, for sure. The rig will allow you to do it. Problem is that then you'll have to scale it every time you do a scene, which can lead to forgetting, which can lead to problems. If you do some hacks to the rig, sometimes those don't scale well with the rig. So if you have at least your base working, then you can hack it on top and it's all right. You're kind of taking off that issue from your back already. So it's good to do it.
So I said I want this guy to be my height. So I'm just gonna grab a cube because as you can see, it doesn't the dimensions don't consider the whole thing. I'm just gonna put my 3D cursor in the center of the scene with Shift C and dot to go to scale to 3D cursor. Then I'm gonna scale as I said until 173 with shift it just scales slower so that should be my height so i'm just gonna grab all this hierarchy select a right click and then select objects and then i'm just gonna actually i don't want to select the meta rig it's the one guy i don't want to select now and the cube there we go i'm gonna delete this cube i'm gonna move this guy to the side so now we can apply our transforms <laughs> We're gonna select the character and we're gonna hit Control A. We can go just uh, apply all locations. Normally, I wouldn't tell you to do it to the eyes, but because we're gonna parent them to some bone, it should be fine. Now, we're gonna bring our meta rig. The reason we apply it is because we want to be able to make this current scale and position the default one. So I'm gonna hit Control A and I'm gonna make sure that I apply the scale as well, because it seems that it has, it has 1.008. There we go. Scale should be all on one, rotations on zero, and location on zero. We apply the transforms and we finally bring our Meta rig. Shift A, armature, human meta rig, and this guy is 2 meters, so I'm just gonna scale it. And I'm gonna go here to this panel, put it up so you can see it. I'm gonna go to viewport display and in front. You can see now that the armature stays always on top of the character. And I also really like to go to the options of the object armature and change visibility, not visibility, viewport display to wire. So it doesn't get in the way. You can see the bones where they're inside each other and whatever. So with this, we are almost ready to go. I'm going to put my orientations in normal and my transform pivot to active element. Sometimes it's going to switch to BD cursor, etc. But this is probably the best one to start. So tap to go to edit mode. And we want to make sure that this does the same in both sides. So I'm just going to hit that little uh, butterfly. The other thing that we can do right now that's uh, gonna be really handy because we already activated this, we can hide half of our bones and they're gonna be done anyways at the hood. I'll start by deleting what I don't need. I don't think this character has a tit, probably doesn't need it. So just gonna delete the bone. With X. So we're gonna hide the arm, pressing H, and the shoulder, but pressing H. And then let's start with the torso. So just grab and move with G, you know, typical blender stuff. Right? So we want to put this bone more or less where the hips would pivot. Uh, because even though it's pointing up, uh, then when it builds, it will put a pivot there. So you can do it like this and have the CG twerking. This is the head bone, and then inside we get the face bone, bone that comes with the entire face. And this one, it's gonna be the pivot of the head. At this point, I start wanting to see the subdivisions because that's gonna help me more or less make a decision where to put the stuff. So I'm going to do here, turn on wireframe. It's very important that this bone, the center, you see that little dotted line, it's, it's center. It's where the foot should do the roll back. So that's going to be the pivot for it. So the face, really, it's a... Uh, it's less complicated than what it seems. With, with L, you select one bone and it selects all of the ones that are directly connected. Now I'm going to select the face for snapping. So I can select my bone, start moving it and hit control and it will snap on top of that face. 
So as you can see now I turn around and it's perfectly placed there, which is what I want. So, as you can see, it's more or less important that these guys align, so this top and bottom, and then this guy and that one, um, this is going to be like the, the, the controller of the lead that goes down, and then these guys are going to be where the lead, leads meet, um, even though if it's, it, it's not going to be perfect anyways, but uh, it's going to still be better than if there are two too messy. So, volume, and then uh, start with the bones, the, the hand bones. I'm just going to hide this guy here. Shift H, and then you hide the bones. Kabam! So, now that we're here, we're ready to press the magic button. So now, we are going to press it. Are you excited? Let's go and hit it! Oh! So what happened was, I'm an idiot. Because as you can see, I didn't apply the scale of the rig. So you need to make sure that if you scale the rig in object mode, like I did, you apply that also. So I'm going to delete this guy. And now I am going to select my meta rig, press Ctrl A, go to apply all transforms. And now we can press the magic button. Ta-da! And that concludes today. Before we finish, this could be like an amazing cliffhanger. I could just press that button and you still don't have a functional rig and, and you would have to wait another week, but not that bad. So we're going to grab the entire character and we're going to hide our meta rig because we don't need it anymore for now. And we can just select all of them, select the armature and hit control. If you have any questions or you want to show me a character that you're rigging, I would love to see it. Put it down in the, in the comments below. And remember to subscribe. And remember to subscribe. Also subscribe. And also subscribe to get new notifications. And also subscribe. And also subscribe. <laughs> you're an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. And also subscribe. And also subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, yeah, see you next, see me next week. Mm -hmm.